Hello, wifeies. Welcome back to my channel. It's Michaela here, and tonight we're going to get into a hygiene haul, a summer hygiene haul. You know, it's summer, so everything's summer themed. If you want to see what I've picked up recently, it's a collective haul, then just keep on watching. thing that I have the only deodorant that I have this is the Victoria's Secret pink coconut roll-on deodorant it's aluminum free with essential oils it smells just like the um coconut scent that they have like everything else coconut it smells really sweet really good I did try it out the other day and <laughs> I did have to reapply um it does smell really good though but i did have to reapply because i felt like um i needed to but i was just at home not really doing much i felt like i needed to reply when i got home so those are like my first impressions so i have started using this it smells really good i feel like i had it on for a good eight hours and i felt like i needed to reapply so we'll keep testing it out and i'll let you know how i feel about it um, I only have one bar soap. This is the Dove, the new line that they have. I forget what the line's called, but um, this is the Oat Milk and Berry Brulee bar soap. I got this from um, Target, and it says transform your shower with the irresistibly delicious scents of juicy berries and hints of brown sugar. Oh, this smells so good. I actually had um, the coconut milk and lychee, I think, or coconut and lychee. I'm not sure what it was called, but um, I tried that one out and I used it completely. It's so good. So I got this one. This is um, quite expensive <laughs> for a bar of soap. Um, this was, I think, $5.99 for just one at Target. But I really, really like it. It's really, really nice. So I'm excited to put this in my shower. Right now I'm filming this. This is July 1st. So I'm trying to go ahead and film so I can start using a lot of it. I mean, I've started using some of it, but not all of it. I only have one scrub that I've picked up because I'm trying not to go overboard on the scrubs. And this is the Tree Hut Passion Fruit Soul. I feel like this is like, oh, it smells so good. This is like a part of their like normal. Um, this is always available. I think it's not like seasonal, um, but this is, I got this from Walmart. I think it was the normal $6 price point of the Tree Hut Scrubs. And it's really fruity and good. Um, it doesn't say anything about like notes or anything. I did see the pineapple one and I kind of wanted it, but like I said, I'm trying not to go overboard with the shower products hygiene products but yeah this one smells really juicy fruity i feel like all the tree hut scrubs have like a hint of a floral in there but it's not it's mostly fruity so i got that one and then let's do bath salts i've already started using this so this is the dr teal's um epsom salt Purify and hydrate deep marine sea kelp mineral soap. I got this from TJ Maxx. I think it was like maybe $4.99 or $5. I've already started using it. It's slimy feeling. Like it really does feel like sea kelp is in there. It makes it feel really slippery. Like, I don't know. It's like really slippery like sea kelp. Uh, it says that it has sea kelp to hydrate and nourish skin, lemongrass, and orange for uplifting essential oils. I don't know if y'all could see it. And then the Epsom salt, of course. So I've been using this. Um, it's okay. Not my favorite. And it smells kind of... I don't know. Not my favorite. I love the coconut oil and the the pink salt one but i also picked up another one to try because i go through bath salts pretty quick um but this is by tree hut 
and I got this at Ross for $5.99 and I saw them at Ulta they were $7.99 so not that big of a discount um but this is the vitamin C and it says antioxidant is to brighten and soften skin antioxidant rich with vitamin C moisturizing with orange essential oil and nourishing shea butter um I haven't opened it but I plan to use this next those are all my sea salts okay so let's get into body cleansers also at Ross I found this Dove body love moisture boost body cleanser hyaluronic serum I've never seen this have y'all seen this I've never seen this one but I shop at Walmart a lot. I don't know if this was at uh, Target or what, but I got it for $6.49 at my local Ross. And it says for dry dehydra dehydrated skin, um, boost skin moisture, fortify skin. I'm, I'm excited to try this. It's made with hyaluronic serum and moringa oil. It's just like a really nice, clean girl scent. Like I kind of want to do like a clean girl routine with this. Do y'all want to see that? Because this is, this is giving clean girl but um yeah so pick this up to try also at ross ross had a bunch of like body washes i picked up this fearless artist series olay body wash uh this one's visibly i don't know this one's visibly renews youthful skin with ceramides and notes of vanilla bean i've never seen this one this series is part of our ongoing commitment to elevate stories of women of color in art and science. Okay, to create this series, Olay partnered with an African-American artist on the bottle artwork and a diverse team of women to develop the formula. Okay, backed by 65 years of science, replenishes skins and replenishes skins, moisture bear, barrier, moisturizes to new appearance. Okay, I love the Olay body wash in this. Oh, it smells good. Mm, 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 mm. Clean, but vanilla. Like, it smells really good. Um, I like the collagen one that's in this type of, like, packaging. Um, so, that's what it reminded me of. So, that's why I wanted to try it. But I didn't know that it was, um, it, I should have read it at the store. But, yeah, I didn't know that this was a part of a uh, artist thing. So, yeah, I got this for six forty nine at Ross. Um, I don't know where this this was originally um, sold either. I don't know if this was at Walmart, Target, both. Not sure, but I picked it up for six forty nine. Uh, one more cleanser. This is the Way Saint Bart's. This smells really good. I can't wait to use this. Smells really nice and tropical. Gives summer. Duh. Everybody goes to St. Bart's in the summer. So I'm excited to try this. And oh, I do have another cleanser. <sighs> another cleanser. <laughs> another cleanser I have is the Bodycology Watermelon Splash. I don't know why I bought this. I just saw it was so nice. And but I, okay, this is why I bought it. Because it is a two-in-one. It's a body wash and a bubble bath. And me and the baby we co-bathe so <laughs> um we always like to have bubbles and i was like oh this is a nice little fun watermelon bubble bath this must it's sweet but not like jolly rancher sweet it's kind of like a cross between jolly rancher and fresh watermelon like it's just it's just it's very balanced it smells really really good i wanted to see how it lathered up in the bathtub to go with um you know bath time because I do have a lot of cleansers that I'm probably not going to reach for this. But if it ends up in my shower, y'all be the first to know. Because y'all know we always do favorites videos. But yeah, I got this from Walmart. This is Watermelon Splash. They had the whole set. Like they had um, this body cream. It kind of dupes um, Bath and Body Works. But the packaging is much larger. At least for the um, the body wash. This, this packaging is larger than Bath and Body Works. Body washes um which i do have some bath and body works body washes that i bought at the semi-annual sale but i feel like 
maybe y'all already saw that in the semi-annual sale haul so maybe it, it would be like kind of redundant to put it in here so there is other stuff that i'm gonna be using clearly and then for body lotion that's included in this haul is the way body cream in st bart's i had to get it i had to get it because i got the body wash it actually came as a set from sephora and they're both full size this smells so freaking good mm, it smells like vacation i didn't buy the body mist because this reminds me of the meet me in miami by bath and body Works. so i actually plan i didn't buy the body cream for that so i plan to use the meet me in miami body wash because i double cleanse along with this one and the body mist um as like a summer combo because i didn't get the cream because i knew i had this one and they're so similar like a sunscreen beachy tropical scent so yeah i got that and then let's switch to hair care i only have three items i did recently for the semi-annual sale i picked up the into the night moisturizing conditioner this was 75 percent off and i just wanted to try it oh it smells so good oh my god it smells so good this one is raspberry noir amber crystals velvety rose petals creamy patchouli and mocha musk as a natural hair girly like you can never have enough conditioner so i just got the conditioner it was like two dollars and 75 cent if that much um so yeah i got that this is made with vitamin b5 and aloe i don't think the shampoo would um be suitable i feel like the shampoo might dry me out i feel like this might dry me out too because there is alcohol in it but we're just gonna try it out we're just gonna try it out we'll try it out i also picked up this udad the curl experts coil infusion deep triple treat deep conditioner from Ulta they had like a hair sale and I picked this up it smells okay looks creamy um I'm gonna put this in the shower because I'm almost done with my way hair products and then also i got the ultra ultra nourishing cleansing oil shampoo this is to cleanse and replenish um this one doesn't say it's for coils necessarily it just says curls so a cleansing oil shampoo i just thought that would be nice and moisturizing on the um on my natural hair Mm, it smells like medicine and i like that um so yeah i'll probably use another shampoo do i have another shampoo oh, i need another shampoo i feel like i feel like this isn't i don't know i might quickly use this up i don't like the way it smells <laughs> i don't know mm, i don't know we'll see we'll see of course i'll give y'all an update but that is my hygiene haul I hope this wasn't a long one. I feel like it's not that much stuff, but y'all know how I do. I'm a hygiene girly these days. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm pre-filming this, so I'm not sure what is in the lineup for this week, but I should know it's a weekly vlog because I vlog every week. So I will see you guys this Sunday for a weekly vlog. Bye.